put it on macro. See, made in Mexico? Isn't that great? These are new brake shoes, by the way. These aren't uh, rebuilts. Here we go, tubers. we got to do the rear brakes on this car. <coughs> I've already had it off once, and I thought I would be able to drive to work. But uh, that wasn't happening. I took and I broke the lug nuts with this handy dandy tool from Harbor Freight. It's a torque multiplier. Hmm. Apparently I didn't break that one good enough though. So, what we do, where did I put my handy dandy three quarter inch socket? This goes on here, like so. It goes on there like so. And you turn this like counterclockwise here. And it's 33 to 1 is the ratio. I do have a four-way, but this is easier. Fabulous. That works so nice. Now, 
I took and I got myself some brake cleaner. So that's pretty grungy. I'll get the cap later. Alright tubers, I don't know whether you can see this or not. This is one of the old shoes. You can see it looks like there's plenty of meat on it. Plenty of friction material. But, look at this. I don't know whether, how well you can see. The rivets for the lining just snap. They just snapped right away. And it looks like I'm only got two rivets holding the whole thing. No, four rivets. Excuse me, I'm wrong. I have four rivets holding the whole thing together here. And this was making a hell of a clunk. That's why I'm changing the brakes. There was plenty of friction material. It's just that this was broke.